Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk on jaundice in newborns. Newborn jaundice is the yellowish discoloration of the eyes and skin of the baby. It is a normal condition which occurs because of high levels of bilirubin in the baby's blood. Bilirubin is a pigment which is produced by the normal breakdown of the red blood cells. In older children and adults, the liver is mature enough to process the bilirubin and then pass it on into the intestinal tract. But in case of newborn babies, the liver is not mature enough to remove this pigment. But the good news is that in most of the babies, jaundice gets resolved on its own in two to three weeks of life, as and when the liver matures and the babies begin to feed well. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all babies should be screened for jaundice before discharge from the hospital, and then at three to five days of age. Jaundice usually progresses from the head towards the lower limbs, involving the face, the trunk, the lower limbs, and lastly the palms and soles. Babies who are born premature, or those who are improperly fed, or those babies who have blood group incompatibility with their mother, are at increased risk of jaundice. Other less common causes of jaundice are liver diseases, infections, birth traumas. Genetic problems and enzyme deficiencies. Most cases of babies are normal, but in severe cases of jaundice, it might lead to complications like bilirubin encephalopathies, cerebral palsy, deafness, and other forms of brain damage. When do you actually need to consult your doctor if your baby is not feeding well, is having jaundice which is progressing? from the head towards the lower limbs or the intensity of jaundice is increasing along with inconsolable crying you need to contact your doctor immediately the treatment modalities are mainly adequate breastfeeding and hydration sometimes even using iv fluids phototherapy is the safest procedure being done in most of the hospitals exchange transfusion of blood is a rare thing which is done in severe cases in case the baby has very high bilirubin and requires neonatal intensive care unit care there is no real way to prevent newborn jaundice but yes certain conditions can be screened antenatally majorly the genetic conditions after birth maintaining the hydration status of the baby and making the baby feed well is the only solution hence there is no need to panic in case of jaundice adequate feeding and careful monitoring of the jaundice in the first 5 to 7 days of life can prevent major problems subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates